Yo, Valve released the 2022 Battle Pass yesterday, and I've seen a lot of people say that it feels a little empty, a little weird, and I think I know why. What's really important is that this Battle Pass is split into two, part one and part two, with part one being available now and part two later. Part one has the Faceless Void Arcana, and part two has the Razor Arcana. Part one has the Phantom Assassin Persona, and part two has the Crystal Maiden Persona. Part one has the first set of treasures, part two has the second set. So why? What's the point of this? What's different is that with this Battle Pass, only the purchases made before the International concludes go towards the price pool. And part two releases after that point. This battle pass was designed to feel kind of shit and empty before the international, but nice and full afterwards. So that when you purchase it after the international concludes, Valve can keep all the profits. 